how is it going samsung users mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel finally i was able to install one ui 5 beta on my s22 ultra so i thought why not go ahead and share with you all the exciting new features that you will be getting with this big update with that being said if you own a samsung phone and you are really waiting for the one ui 5.0 then stay tuned and watch this video till the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one so drop a like leave a comment and let's get started First, let's take a look at the notification panel. You can see it looks very similar to what we have in One UI 4.1 and the only change I can notice here is the icons look much bigger compared to the previous version. Next, if I swipe down and tap on these three dots, there is a new option called Active Apps. This basically shows all the applications that are running in the background for a long time. It consumes your phone's battery so you can close those applications in just one click. Other than that, I don't see any major changes and I hope Samsung redesigned the quick settings layout in the upcoming beta releases. With One UI 5, you can now combine different widgets of the same sizes into a single one. All you have to do is simply long press and drag it on top of each other. Then you can swipe left or right to find the widget you are looking for. You can also edit the stack by removing the widgets that you don't use quite often. I think it's a really nice feature and once you start using it, you can save a lot of space and it makes your home screen clean and less cluttery. Next, let's talk about one of my favorite feature that simplifies the process of opening apps in a split screen view. Let's say I'm watching a video on YouTube and I quickly want to open Play Store. I just need to swipe with my two fingers like this and it opens the split screen window. Not only that, if I swipe from the top right, it opens that application in a pop-up window. I think it's one of the quickest way to open apps in a pop-up or split screen window and it definitely enhances your multitasking experience. To enable these gestures on your phone, go to your settings, select advanced features and then select labs. Here you get two brand new options, just go ahead and turn it on. Next, if I long press and select wallpaper and style, here we have something called as color palette. Previously there were only 4 color options but now you get around 16 different colors that you can choose from. Well, if you love customizing your home screen, then it is going to be super useful for you. Not only this, if I select apply palette to the app icons, as you can see it gets applied to more applications compared to the previous version. Samsung is doing a great job when it comes to automatic theming and I don't think you need any third party launcher, you can customize everything just by using the default Samsung launcher. The next unique feature lets you to extract text from any photos on your gallery. Let's say I want to extract text from the screenshot that I have taken. I simply need to long press and it allows me to select or copy the text from that screenshot. Basically you can copy text straight from a picture and paste it anywhere on your screen. This not only works for screenshots but you can also use it for photos taken from your phone's camera. Next if I press and hold on my home screen and select widgets. When I scroll down I have this brand new widget called smart suggestions. Once you place it on your home screen what it does is. It will suggest you all the apps and actions based on how you are using your smartphone. You can have your permanent applications in the dock and above you can place this widget. It will keep suggesting applications based on your usage. Next in the settings, if I go inside battery and device care, here we have this brand new option called maintenance mode. What it does is, it protects your privacy while someone else is using your phone. Let's say you are sending it for repairs and you really want to save your personal data including photos, messages and accounts. You can turn on this mode before giving your phone to the service center. Once you get it back, you can turn it off by using your fingerprint and you can see everything is back to normal. Again a very useful feature, especially when you are giving your phone to someone else, you can definitely enable this setting. Did you know, with One UI 5 you can apply different call backgrounds for each contact. All you need to do is select the contact, tap on this edit icon and then click on view more. Here you get the option that says call background. So now you can apply different call backgrounds for specific contacts and change the entire look of your caller screen. The next change is in the camera settings. If I open my camera and go to settings, now I can enable or disable the watermark. By default it shows your phone's model name but you can change it to anything you want. Not only this, you can also change the font style and the position as well. If you are using edge panels on your Samsung device, it now shows the app names below the app icon. If you want to enable this option, Simply go to the settings, select display, go inside edge panels and click on edit. Now just tap on these three dots and enable this option that says show app name. This option was not available in One UI 4.1 but now they have added this feature. The next feature I want to talk about is the app languages. 
under settings if you go inside general management you now have this brand new option called app languages this basically allows you to choose the language you want to use for each app individually let's say whenever i open youtube i want it to be in hindi language now i can easily do that it is already available in google pixel devices and i'm glad samsung has added this useful feature in one ui 5 if i select battery and device care and then go inside memory now you get this option to disable the ram plus feature on your phone in one ui 4.1 you don't get the option to disable the ram plus feature but now you can turn it off it is totally up to you if you're running out of space then you can go ahead and disable this feature so that's pretty much it these are some of the best new features you will be getting in one ui 5.0 guys i'll also make a separate video showing all the beautiful animations so stay tuned for that and if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button subscribe to this channel if you haven't already i'm mr android and i will see you guys in the next one